Have you ever taken a moment to think about how a broker makes his money? A broker makes his money by you putting transactions through. Every time that you buy and sell, he collects his little bit of commission along the way. So it's in the broker's best interest to keep you as active as possible. He wants to show you new trading opportunities. He wants you to close out old opportunities and, and roll into new positions because that's how he makes his money. In fact, I've got a very good friend who's a broker and he tells me about the ways that brokerage firms and uh, institutions come up with ways to get people to trade more often. They're constantly inventing these new trading instruments, be it warrants, be it CFDs, be it different exotic options. There are so many different ways. They're coming up with these new attractive uh, methods and instruments for you to trade with the idea that you know that'll keep your interest, keep you trading so that the broker can make his money. Personally for me, all of this new information that the broker is trying to give me is just noise. I've got my trading system that I've planned. I've got my set of rules. I know what it is that I'm doing and I don't want some broker throwing me off track. There are two types of brokers out there. You've got full service brokers and you've got discount brokers. Now, as the name implies, the full service broker is someone who's there for you when, when you need it. They'll be on the phone, they'll be giving you access to all of the research that their brokerage firm might do, they'll be giving you buys and tips, they'll be watching your orders as they go through and for that you pay a little bit more. On the flip side, you've got discount brokers and discount brokers are more about the transactions and what they do is they don't give that same level of service but uh, for, for the reason that you don't get that level of service they'll also shrink the amount of commission that they take because you don't get access to uh, having a broker there on hand. That said though, depending on what's right for you and what it is that you're trading, you do need to pick one or the other. For me, again, I like to not have that extra noise from the full service broker and I go for a discount broker. I find they suit me and my trading method a lot more. Regardless of what broker you ultimately end up going with, I've provided some questions for you below to help you find the broker that's right for you. You need to ask them things like, how much commission are they going to charge? Obviously, commission, their brokerage fee, is one of the single biggest expenses you're going to have in your trading. So you want to make sure that you minimize those costs as best you can. It's just like running any other business. You want to make sure you minimize those, those costs and those expenses. You want to make sure that there are no extra fees. You also want to make sure that the, the broker is going to be able to grow as your trading grows. You want to make sure that they can provide you access to multiple markets. Similarly to how we talked about with charting packages being able to trade multiple markets, you want your broker to be able to trade multiple markets for you, assuming you develop in that way as you start to trade more leveraged and aggressive instruments. You also want to make sure that they're reliable. Obviously, if you're giving them your hard-earned cash and it's important when trading a system that when you want to get in, you get in, and when you get out, you get out, you want to make sure that they're going to be reliable and they're going to stick around and you can trust them. You also want to make sure that, um, especially if you're going, this is more so for my type of trading and, and the way that I implement stop losses, I like to see what sort of automatic features they've got. I like to be able to enter in my stop losses uh, outside of market hours and then when the market's trading, if that stop loss is hit, then automatically I'm thrown out of the trade. They're just a few of the questions you need to ask and I've got a few more below. You do need to choose a broker, so perhaps you can uh, start by asking these questions, look for some recommendations from friends or if you're part of any investment club and then just write down and select which broker you're going to go for and add it into your trading plan. And now you're almost ready to start trading.